crazy mother. Watch this McDonald's drive-through long. Drive-through long? What the fuck, Ashton? You're such a fucking idiot. I meant to say drive-through line. Be super, super long. Every time I come to this McDonald's, no matter what time of day it is, this drive-through line is always long as fuck. Watch it not even be long today. Oh wow, there's not even anybody in the line. Now I look stupid. Wait, I'm to get one moment. All right. What do you want? Um, yeah. Can I just get a large sweet tea? Oh, 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 oh. Let me put you guys up on the tripod. There we go. There we go, guys. There we go. Hey, how you doing? Oh wait, where's my? Oh, I thought I left my wallet at home. Look guys, I finally got a uh, phone case for my phone. Even when there's no one in the lines, it still takes forever. All I do is come to McDonald's for a sweet tea. You guys know I love my sweet tea. It costs a dollar. New drip. New drip. New big bitch. Whole lot of new shit flexing. She keep on calling and texting. I just want my sweet tea, man. I just want. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. She was kind of cute. Should I ask for her number? Hot nigga, I belong in the dog pound. Fuck a bitch and then I put it in a bitch throat. Never give a bitch your phone, that's a no no. Stop it, niggas knowing that I drop shit. Story of my life. So many of my videos are demonetized, it's ridiculous. So this hoodie was just like, I had to get this hoodie because it, it just suits me so well. All right, a lot of you guys know that I always use this parking lot to film a lot of my videos just because I think it's like the nicest parking lot ever. But anyway, every time I come here, I always look at this and how long it is. And I just want to try and like manual this whole thing. Like, <laughs> damn, that looks pretty far. That is really far. Look at that. And I'm, for some reason, a lot better at nose manuals than just regular manuals. They're just a lot more comfortable to me. So I'm going to try and nose manual this whole thing. I'm gonna give it only a few tries because I'm just I'm not trying to you know be out here forever. If this part, if you guys are watching this part of the video, then I probably did it. But since it's only me filming, it's gonna be a little bit hard to film. So I think I'm just gonna put my camera on the tripod and just hope you guys get like an idea of how long it actually is. I need a filmer. I need somebody to help me film these videos. Now taking cameraman applications. So if there's any of you out here in the Las Vegas area that want to help me film videos, uh, please hit me up on Instagram or something and let me know because I need some I need some help filming these videos. All right, just to give you guys an idea of how long this is. Look, this is the start. Yeah, that's pretty fucking long, so hopefully I get this nose manual. All right, that's a pretty good angle, right? You guys can see like how long it is from there. Hopefully, I'm talking to you guys like you can actually like talk to me live right now. Gosh, that was so ugly, but fuck it, I did it. All right, you guys see the title, you guys see the thumbnail. Someone in the comments actually told me to make a video about skate brands that I like and that I've used. So in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about skate brands. Not every skate brand, brand like truck companies and wheel companies. I'm just gonna be talking about skateboard companies and which skateboard companies I like and don't like. I have a list right here of all the skate brands that I remember skating since I've been skating. And with me and with, I'm pretty sure a lot of skaters, once you find a brand that you like, you're gonna stick to it. Bones Wheels, for example. When I very first got Bones Wheels, it was like when I very first started skating I got bones wheels I loved them so that's been the only skate wheel that I've ever skated with skateboards though it's a little bit different like I like to try out different board companies and different boards and I'm pretty sure like most skaters do too unless you're sponsored you know to that company you're gonna try out other boards but for the most part when you find a board company and a board you really like you most likely gonna you know stick to it which is what I do most of the time but like I said I have a list of all the skateboard brands that I remember skating and I'm just gonna talk about if I like them if they're good or not because some of these boards um, some of them suck I don't want to like bash any companies or like say anything bad about all the companies I'm just gonna you know give my honest opinion on the boards and how they skate and how I like them and stuff But anyway, here's my list. I know that there is more to this list I just can't remember all of like every single board I've ever had I just can't on my list There's girl toy machine alien workshop creature mini logo Powell element Goodwood ATM and real those are the boards that I remember Vividly skating like I remember those boards for some reason. I didn't I don't have this list in like any type of order or anything I just kind of put them on the list as I remembered them but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go through the list I'm gonna tell you guys which boards I like which boards suck which boards I don't like and all of that the first company slash board is girl now when I very first started 
skating. Um, I think I had like an element board or whatever, but at the same time, like when I first started skating, I remember I was in love with the company girl. And then um, I eventually got a girl board and I remember skating it and I remember it sucked. And then I was like, okay, well maybe I just got like a, a bad board. I got another girl board. That one sucked. And I think I th I've skated quite a few girl bo girl boards in my day just because like I said I liked the company so much and I always wanted to like just give them a try. So I got it I had multiple girl bo boards and I can't say that girl boards, girl board. I just remember remember they sucked. Like I remember they would chip really easily. I remember they would snap really easily. And for me to snap a board is like really rare because I don't really snap boards. I used to skate really big drops and stairs and I would still not break my boards, but girl bo boards I remember. I just remember they weren't the best quality like that like I said they would chip easily they would snap it easily and the pop wouldn't last very long and even like the graphic on the board would like chip and peel off and not all of this is when I very first started skating I got a couple other girl boards later in my skating uh lifetime like I said I really liked the company so I just wanted to keep getting girl boards and they always had like really really sick graphics so I would just always get the boards and then they would just always just not be good. Oh, this lighting is not the best though. Hold up. Let me try and move you guys. Is that better? A little bit better. We're up close and personal now. This lady keeps walking around looking at me, but um, yeah, girl. Yeah, like I said, I really liked the company. I liked all the skaters. All of the skaters on Girl were like my favorite skaters for a super, super long time. Like Mike Mo, Guy Mariano. All of those guys were my favorite skaters for the longest, but their boards just weren't that good to, for me. Like I said, I'm not trying to like bash any companies or like say anything bad about any companies and I'm not trying to like favorite a certain company. I'm just giving you guys like my experience and my personal opinion. Every board, every company, every everything about skating is all personal preference. It's like what you guys, it's like what you guys prefer. You know what I mean? So girl, in my opinion, they, the boards just weren't good. Now the next one uh, is Toy Machine. Now in my skating like life, I've only had like I think two, maybe three toy machine bo boards those I wasn't like the biggest fan of toy machine but I did kind of like their graphics a lot so I got like two or three of those boards those ones were really good toy machines were really good I remember the pop lasted a really long time and they didn't really they didn't chip I don't think I've chipped any of the toy machine boards that I had but I do remember that they would get pressure cracks a lot but that was like really the only problem I've ever had with toy machine and the shape like I said in like I don't remember what video I said this in but I remember saying the shape of the board doesn't matter to me because I'm just gonna get used to it but the shape of toy machine boards were just weird like I don't know it was weird but I was like whatever I'm gonna just skate it because like I said I adapt to different skateboard shapes and sizes really quickly like the in the first day, I'll just be used to it. But it was just weird to me, like the tail was kind of pointy, but the shape, that, that didn't really matter to me. But like I said, pressure cracks, I, no, stop texting me, I'm trying to film a video. So yeah, like I said, um, the pressure cracks were the only thing that I noticed about toy machine boards. Other than that, they were really good. I should rate all the companies one out of 10, based on how they skate. I should do that. Okay, girl, I would give that like a, I don't know, how they skate, I would give it like a, three or four honestly like they just weren't good for me toy machine I would give them like a seven yeah I'll give them like a seven because of the weird shape and the pressure cracks but other than that it was the toy machines amazing boards okay the next one on this lich lich the next one on this list is creature now I was the biggest biggest creature fan I loved creature so much the shape of the boards the way they skated the graphics like the green and yellow and like the like the weirdness of that company I just loved everything about creature I still love creature I'm just gonna start this off by saying I would give creature like a nine and a half out of ten maybe even a ten I feel like creature was the perfect board for me like if I had to get sponsored to a skateboarding company it would be creature I just I love those boards. They always lasted me a really long time. The shapes were really nice. The sizes were really nice. The graphics, the company, just like everything about Creature, I loved it. I still do love it. I, I rode Creature boards for the longest time. And when you get a Creature board, they, they come like in the plastic with the board. They have these little stencils. I would always get those and like spray paint the Creature logo everywhere. I put it like on my driveway. I put it on my boards. I put it, I put it everywhere. I, I had the stickers. I put those everywhere. Creature is probably my favorite company on this list. Creature, I'm gonna just... 9.5 9, 9 or 10 just actually I'm gonna give creature a 10 the boards always lasted really long they never really chipped the pop lasted a long time um the pressure cracks weren't bad at all every board let me just say this every board gets pressure cracks every single board just on some boards they're worse than others like they'll go from one truck all the way to the other truck but with creature boards I never really had pressure crack problems so if you guys have never had a creature board I highly suggest you guys go get creature this video isn't sponsored by any of these companies I'm not getting paid by any of, the, uh, any of these companies I'm just giving you guys my honest personal opinion 
Amazon, all, all of these companies. Now the next one, this one is also really good and I skated these for a really long time, was actually Mini Logo, which is kind of like a blank board kind of thing, but they, like it comes from the same company as Powell and Bones and all of that, they come from the same company. And the Mini Logo boards, those Mini Logo boards would be my number one if they actually had graphics. They don't really have graphics, they just are blank boards and they say Mini Logo. Those boards were also really, really, really good, like really amazing boards. They lasted long, they did, I did never snap one. The pop lasted really long, they never chipped. They were really, really good boards and they were actually kind of cheap. I don't remember exactly how much they are, but they were really cheap and that's why I got one in the first place because they were cheap and they had them like in the dump, in the, like the little trash can at Zoomies or something and I just got one. I know, I know, don't hate on me because I got a board from Zoomies, blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't expecting those boards to be as good as they are. Like they're really, really good and they have a really nice, good shape and concave. They have like the perfect, they're just like the perfect shaped boards. I kind of like stayed away from them for a little bit because I just thought they were just like random blank, just shitty boards, but they're really, really good. And I skated those for a really long time too. So mini logo, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give mini logo a nine out of 10. I would give them like a nine and a half or a 10 if they had graphics. Now the next one is Powell, which is, which comes from the same company as mini logo, but Powell boards, like a lot of you guys know, I used to skate and like hang out with Chris Jocelyn a lot. And um, years and years ago, he was sponsored by Powell. And that's where I would get um, the boards from. They're pretty expensive, so I would just get them from Chris. They're good boards, they last They last quite a while, they never really chipped, I never snapped one. But the pop on them doesn't last that long at all. Like I would skate a Powell board for like, I don't know, maybe a week and the pop would be just completely gone already. Other than that though, they're really good boards. They have some sick graphics, good sizes, good shapes. Okay, the next one on this list is Element and I can't really say too much about Element. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I didn't give Powell a rating. I'm gonna give Powell a nine out of 10 too. It would be a 10 if the pop was great. Okay, the next one, like I said, Element. I can't really say too much about Element because I think I only had one Element board, maybe two. I had like one or two Element boards in my skating lifetime and they were really good. Like I don't remember too much about Element. I just remember skating one. I don't know, I, I don't even know why I put Element on this list. I shouldn't have because I don't really remember skating that but I remember having it but I don't remember how it skated okay the next one on this list is Goodwood and I actually looked up some of the graphics right here because I just remember their graphics were like so crazy like there's a weird cat one I remember I, I always wanted to get this board though look at that I always wanted to get that board but I never got it for some reason but anyway I was expecting these boards to be like shitty too because they were like in the same little trash can at zoomies as the mini logo boards but I remember getting a Goodwood board and it was actually really really good and then I got another one I had like I think I maybe had like three or four Goodwood boards. Like I said, I just got them for the graphics because they were like ridiculous graphics and I would just get them. And after the first one, I was like, yo, these boards are actually really, really good. They remind me a lot of mini logo boards and I never had any problems with those boards either. They were just good. They're really like strong boards. They're really good and they had good shapes and good sizes and everything. But I do remember that the pop wasn't that good on those either. And that might've been the only problem and pressure cracks. I remember they used to get really bad pressure cracks. The pressure crack thing might be because of just how I skated at the time I had these certain boards, but I kind of just feel like some boards pressure crack a lot more than other boards. That and the, and the pop thing, I think those were the only two problems I ever had with these boards. The graphic stayed on a lot. I like boards that when you like skate a rail or something, the graphic actually doesn't scratch off. It just like the paint kind of smears but it doesn't scratch. I like that about a board and I think those did that. Like the paint didn't chip off. It was just like really good paint or a graph. It was just a really good graphic on the board. So because of that, I would probably give this board like a, like an eight out of 10. But yeah, a lot of these boards I haven't skated in years and years. So I'm pretty sure like, I don't know if a lot of these companies like made their boards even better. So don't take everything I'm saying like 100% as the truth because a lot of these companies probably updated their boards. They probably made them a little bit better and a little bit stronger. So I don't know, but yeah, good wood boards. Really good board. Okay, the next one on this list, I remember skating these religiously too, and that's ATM. This dude just rolled past on an, on an electric skateboard. He was going pretty fast too. Those things are quick. I gotta get one of those. But anyway, ATM boards. I remember I liked these as much as I liked creature boards. And ATM boards, definitely out of every single board on here, they lasted the longest. I I've never had a problem with ATM boards. The pop lasted really long. They never chipped. I never snapped one. I barely, barely got pressure cracks using those boards. And they also had good graphics too. They were like simple graphics, but they were still really like good. Like I, I like simple things and they made their graphics simple, but also really good at the same time. It's McDonald's sweet tea, man, so good. ATM, I'm actually gonna, this is gonna be the first company that I give a 10 out of 10 for, just because the shapes were really good, they never chipped, 
they never pressure cracked. I mean, they didn't never pressure crack, but they barely pressure cracked. So yeah, ATM, even, even they were better than creature boards. Like you guys just heard me say, I loved creature boards, but ATM boards, amazing boards. You know what? I'm gonna go get a, I'm gonna go get another ATM board. I remember they were really hard to get. Like I would go to like skate shops and stuff and they would like either not have them or not have my size. Now the last one on this list is real. I remember, wait, did I talk about Alien Workshop in this video? I don't think I did. Did I, Alien Workshop was like number three on this list and I think I skipped it. Okay, I'm gonna say Alien Workshop and then real. Okay, Alien Workshop suck. I remember they suck. I remember the first day I got an Alien Workshop board, I snapped it on a hard flip and I was pissed. I remember when I snapped it, there were like these three carbon fiber strips inside the board to make it last longer and for it to not snap, but I snapped it. On the first day, I did a hard flip and it snapped. I snapped it. I was so mad because I spent so much money on that board. It was a cool graphic. I was like, yeah, I'm about to have this board for a long time. I'm gonna skate it, did a hard flip and it snapped. Alien Workshop sucked. Two out of two out of ten. And they get a two because they had some good graphics. Like alien stuff is like kind of like my thing. So that's why I really liked them. But that's the only reason why they're getting a two. If their company didn't have any aliens involved, they would get like a zero or a one out of ten. My mom is calling me, man. I'm out. I'm filming a video. And you called in the middle of it. Sorry, mom, I had to hang up on you. You're, you're messing up the video. Okay, last one on this list is real. I remember okay, I like I said, I had like two real boards. This is when I snapped my alien workshop board. I snapped my alien workshop board, and then one of my friends gave me their used real board. Board. And even though that board was used, it still lasted me quite a while and it was still really good and it felt like a brand new board, but like it was used. Real has some amazing, amazing boards. I remember those like pressure cracked quite a bit too, but it wasn't really a big problem because of how strong the boards were. Like most of the time with pressure cracks, once they get like really badly pressure cracked, they just snap easier because they'll they'll crack right where the pressure crack is. But with this board, I didn't even really like think about the board snapping just because of how good it was. Yeah, like I said, that one was used and it was still really good. Like even though it was used, the pop still, like when he gave it to me, the pop was still really good. And even after I used it a lot, the pop was still really good. So real boards have some amazing, amazing pop. Like I said, that one was the used one. And then I got a non-used one. Like I got just like a brand new one. And I remember that one also lasted a really long time. That one was, that one was pretty perfect too. Just like Toy Machine, I think. Yeah, I think Toy Machine. Um, real boards remind me a lot of Toy Machine boards. Like they feel the same and they, they just feel conspiracy theory. Toy Machine and Real are the same company. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, they really remind me of Toy Machine boards. I don't know why or like what it is. I think it's the shape. Shape was a little weird, but it was like manageable because that's just me though. Like I said, all, everything is personal preference. Me, personally, I don't care about board shape because I adapt and I get used to it like the first day so it doesn't really matter to me. I would give real like a 9 out of 10. You see guys a lot of these board companies and like almost every board on this list I gave like a really good opinion on like I like they're like really really good boards. Most of these most of them. Alien Workshop ass. Girl Skateboards ass. Power Boards good but the pop was just terrible and I remember back when Chris was sponsored by them he would literally only keep power boards for like two days like he would be setting up a new one every two days. Oh damn, I've been recording for a long time already. I don't want to like talk your guys' ear off. That was just like a quick, that wasn't really quick because this video is kind of long. I actually am gonna edit this down a lot, hopefully. But yeah, that was just like a quick little video on the skateboard brands that I like. If you guys want me to make another video like this, but on a different subject like wheels or trucks, actually I'm gonna just throw trucks in here really, really fast. I had two pairs of Ventures, no, Thunders. There were Thunders, I had two pair of Thunders they both broke. That's all I'm gonna say. They both both of them broke. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, like I said, this video wasn't to give any certain company a bad name or just say anything bad about certain companies. I wasn't paid to say any of this. And this is just like my personal preference on the boards that I remember skating. Like I said, there's some other companies and some other boards I know I've skated, but I just do not remember. I just don't remember them or else I would have put them in this video. But anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want to talk you guys' ear off. Yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit. If you guys were thinking about buying a board or what your next board should be, hopefully this video kind of helped you guys. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to end the video there. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. I was born to flex. Yes. Diamonds on my neck I like boarding jets I like more than sex But nothing in this world That I like more than checks Money All I really wanna see is the Money I don't really need a D I need the